and join them one to another in a one stick, and they shall become one in their hand. And they shall become one in their hand. Right? That's, that's this, this stick right here we got. And so you can see it and be like, oh, hey, man, I'm that tribe, I'm this, I'm that. And if you look like another nation, the spirit's going to come close. You're going you're gonna to be like, oh, man. You know? You're going to understand the prophecies are going to hit you. You're going to be like, hey, that's true. Man, that's right. That makes sense. You know? That's the spirit of the Lord. If you're a, of another nation, you're just going to bug out. You're just going to bug out. Oh, no. No. It's not true. Jesus is the way. You guys are, you guys are devils. Jake warns you about Israelite women, you know, and I, you know, we see, we see you on the common board, you know, brothers are suffering, you. but it's like, it's like, here it is, you got a name like, like, Judite Princess Queen or some dumb shit like that, you over here, Shalom Waman, and then, like, you ain't, you ain't doing it right. Then shalt thou well, it's like, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yep, the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Because the Bible tells you, it tells you about, uh, uh, you know, all these things, man. Actually, real quick. So that's what's supposed to happen, you know. And then they gotta go. They, they what, what is it said? Uh, uh, give me a, or you give me a Saint John ten and one. You know, because it talks about going to the sheepfold. And 
and we are the sheep. Yahweh shines the shepherd. Go ahead. Verily, verily, I, John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. Yeah, you climb up some other way. You just come out with some wild ass doc. Oh, I'm anointed. Go ahead. The same as a thief and a robber. Oh, the same as a thief and a robber. So you you coming in talking about manna. You coming in some other way, man. You ain't coming in. You trying to climb in some other way. You trying to cut oh, I got this new doctrine. I got oh, this is that new one. Alright? You're a thief and a robber, man. You gotta come into the sheepfold. There's no other way. It says I'll give you for a for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles to open the blind eyes. Right? But not hey, it, it says a lot of jakes are cursed. Like that like that Jake that was he said, I got ears, I got us. Hey, but that's the scripture that says, I they have eyes, but they can't see, they got ears, but they can't hear. Just pass by a hundred times, and then at the very end, think that you're gonna repent. That's why it says in the scriptures, "I have what because I called and you refused." You know, you were supposed to jump at it, man. And you're right; it's not too late for you, but we don't know how long you have, man. Isaiah 42 and 7 to to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. And the prison is your own mind. Because when you hear the truth, you say you will hear the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right? Now, you, all right, I know I'm not black anymore. I know I'm not a Mexican anymore. I know, all right, now I know I'm an Israelite. Now, now you're free. Now you're free from this wickedness. Now you're free from, this, from, the, from the madness of this world. You're free from this confusion. Now the Lord can heal you, all right? Keeping these laws, steps, and commandments, the Lord is going to heal you. Man. It's going to fill that void that you have. All right, that oh man, I, what's the truth? Where's the truth? Man? You know that missing part of you, man, which is the Holy Spirit, which is Yahweh Shem Yahweh It Says, I am the Lord. That is my name. I am Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Alright? The reason why, uh, uh, you know, he, it, it, hey, the reason why the, the Lord has the promise tell you about things from the past before it comes to pass, and so that you can't be like, oh, you know, it was a coincidence. Or, oh, it was something else. Or, it was this God. Or, it was this God. Or, uh, Esau. Or, Esau say, I did this. You know, it wasn't the Lord. I did this. That's why, he had, that's why the Lord has his up there. So, there's no book. Esau can't say, oh, it's by my power. It's by my strength. That this, 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 this. Nah, man. That's why, that's why we brought it up earlier. And it's going to be said that the Lord lived that one of his children in Israel had the land of the Lord. And it's, I believe it says, Lord, all caps, yeah. Lord 
of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Yeah, because if, if it was to the wise and the prudent, I mean, what's, what's special about that? What's amazing about that? But you give it to us. Hey, before I came into the truth, I was a dirtbag. I was a complete fucking scoundrel. <laughs> That's why we tell you to uh, agree with your adversary quickly. Because every time you see those videos of Jake getting his ass beat up or shot or something, what is he doing? All right, he's arguing with the cops. He, he may not be duking it out with the cops. What is he doing? He's trying to fucking wrestle with him. No, I ain't going. And then what happens? Then Esau fucks that guy up. And what? It's because you're in captivity, man. You ain't getting treated like these other nations get treated because you are a slave. They don't look at you the same way they look at uh, so, uh, uh, the, the other Edomites or these other nations, man. They look at you differently because you are under a curse. You are under reproach. That's why you need, even if it's not fair, even if you think you're being unjustly dealt with, you need to agree with your adversary with you, man. And if you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he'll get you out of that mess. If you're serving the Lord, he will get you out of that fucking mess. Hey Amen. Just like we the apostles bring out in uh, what 2000 in 911, 2001, 911, when uh, the the twin towers were attacked, it said the apostles got taken into jail, and some some Edomite lawyer came in and was just, was just like, y'all gotta let these guys go now. And do you think, do you think that the, 
that when the cops came to get him, that the apostles were kicking at him and throwing rocks at him. Get away! No, no, you're not taking me. They, uh, they said that all the prisoners in the jail were saying, what are you guys doing? You guys don't belong here, man. Damn. They seen the spirit on them. They were, yeah. they were like, man, don't even worry. Don't even worry. Uh, and that's said that, that, that vibration, you want to push on them. sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not it. The same as knowing after death by pain. Yeah, you can see, you can see it in the eyes. That would be hell. Hell would be Maybe that's what's gonna happen, man. The Lord. Hey, that's why. That's why I said, don't worry about you know how the wicked are gonna be destroyed, man. Worry about how, because that's what that's what we gotta be worried about. How the righteous gonna be delivered? Man? <laughs> by returning to, by repenting, man. Y'all by some y'all side is gonna save you. All right, for serving him, for doing what, for doing what he commanded you to do. All right, as it tells you in the scriptures, in the places of drawing water, uh, uh, staff there shall they rehearse the righteous act. They that are delivered from the noise of the heart. All right, then shall the people come to the gates. All right, because they see, hey, that's why I said, do, do, uh, uh, you know, perform your righteousness. Perform your uh, uh, perform these righteous acts and make it shine. You know, like you got a candlestick. You don't hide it under a bushel, but you go out and give it and give it for a light to everybody. So others can see your good works and and, and want to follow them. Yep. Hey, what did Paul say? Said, uh, uh, follow me even as I follow the Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That's why people always talk about, oh, you follow men. Those great men that followed up the Yahweh Shai. Those men that followed up the Yahweh Yeah, yeah. That's why we followed the apostles and the elders because you can see that they, they truly believe, you know, and they're not lying to you about anything. They tell you to look up what they're saying. You know, when you read the scriptures, you had men from the church of Maria that they didn't just take what the, what the men were saying to them. They actually went and did the research themselves. And when you go and you do that, you say, these men are, are telling me the truth. Then you develop a trust. Then you develop faith. And you say, you know what? They, they never lied to me. Everything they're saying is linking up. These got to be the men of the Lord. This has to be the truth. Yes. 
persuaded in your own mind. Hey, that's how you come out on the streets. You gotta be, you gotta be fully persuaded to come out here. In your own mind. Yep. Everybody's works are going to be weighed in the balance. You know? So you got to have your own relationship, your own private moments with the Lord, man. The Lord, you got to, you know, the Lord's got to know you personally. That's why, you, that's why the scriptures tell you to pray. The Lord ain't dealing with a guy that doesn't pray. Yeah, you just got to pray. You just got fucking demons on you, bro. Yeah, bro, hell and demons. You're gonna be bugged the fuck out. You just gonna wake up and then you just gonna wake up and go out the house to, to just walking down a cliff. You didn't pray, so you ain't got the Lord in your thoughts. You just doing whatever the fuck seems right to you. Yeah, because you go you have you you'll like wake up. You'll wake up and feel some type of way and then praise you out by out shot and then you'll feel that like that comfort. You know what I mean? It'll come and be like, oh yeah. Sometimes you'll wake up with the shivers. With with the, the no. You'll wake. Sometimes you wake up with demons on you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then you pray to the Lord, and the demons go away. Yeah. And you can fucking feel that. Yep. Yeah. That's why brothers do say it's very important not to forget to pray before you go to sleep. Because when you're when you're asleep, your spirit is is receiving instruction in the spiritual plane. Okay. You know, the Lord gives us the Lord has given them their instruction. Still has their instruction when you're asleep. And if you're not praying to the Lord, you're not, you know, keeping your mind occupied, there's going to be demons in there. Yeah, because if the Lord isn't in your thoughts, then what's in your thoughts? That's why when you pray, you know, give that prayer, uh, how wish I now uh, my uh, call I am. One that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. He says seven times a day. You might praise the Lord a hundred times a day. Man, you see 777, 555, 1044, 1244. This is all, it reminds you. I went first place. Racing game, bro. I never would in my life. And it popped up when I bought my time. I went first place with one point. Well, that's what in the scriptures it talks about. If you have faith, have it to thyself, man. Yeah. You know, there's certain things that are just for you. You know, it's for your own personal experience. Like you might go and try and tell a brother, like, and the brother just like, bro, what are you talking about? But you felt it, like it hits you super hard. Like, but that that's because that was the Lord giving it to you. That's for your faith. And you know, you don't get discomfited that a brother he might not be in that that moment. Because that brother has moments himself. Yeah, yeah. that was for you. Yep. Yeah. That brother has his own moments. You know. Let, no, all, let no man take my crown. Yep. Yeah. We all have our own. Yeah, but if we be fully persuaded in our own mind, it goes back to that. You know, what I'm every brother can't experience the same thing. You know, everybody got. And we all have our own walk. We all have our own path.
get out of here. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Arokai Wadash, you know, uh, 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 double honors the water to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for all the beautiful works that you're doing, teaching us the truth, uh, for continuing in your work, Shalom, and peace, love, and blessings to the hope of the leg, you know, uh, uh, giving diligence to make the call of the election short, the water for all the works that you do, you know, and, 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 and Shalom. Shalom.